Hi, welcome to Deep Thoughts with Dana. This is Dana. This is your monthly tarot reading for the month of April 2019 for the sign of Gemini. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. I have a $50 YouTube special, which includes a video link. Enjoy the video. Namaste. We open this reading with the star card, looking for hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. The three of wands says that you are preparing for your future because you are about to have a new beginning and take a brand new journey. This new beginning and brand new journey um, comes to you with the Queen of Cups, comes to you with emotional security, calm, cool, collected, extremely intuitive, knowing that you know that you know that this is what you're supposed to do and this is where you're supposed to go. This new beginning and this new journey you're about to take is a golden opportunity with the Ten of Pentacles. It is the op opportunity to create a solid golden foundation by which to build your future. The Wheel of Fortune says that this new journey, this new beginning, this renewal in your life is a turning point in your destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. One life cycle is ending, a new life cycle is beginning. The Princess of Pentacles says that you have manis manifested a brand new prosperous opportunity in your life with the eight of cups right here you have walked away you have the the root of all of this is that you have walked away from a love relationship with the lovers card in order to start a brand new chapter in your life with the world card the ace of cups comes and says that this fills you with overwhelming emotion overwhelming emotion in the terms of excitement with the knight of wands you are excited you're enthusiastic you have a brand new outlook on life the high priestess comes in and reiterates this you know that you know that you know in your heart of hearts and in your soul of soul that this is the right decision for you you are in pursuit of your metaphorical or literal knight in shining armor. This is an answer to prayer. This new journey, this new beginning that you're taking is something that is going to um, change your life, right? With the Ten of Wands, um, the struggle was real to get to this point. The burden was real. The struggle was real to get to this point. And you're going to need some strength because... All you can find yourself doing is thinking about, with the Four of Cups, contemplating a lot about the Seven of Swords, about the betrayal, the deception, the shady behavior that caused you to walk away from this love relationship in the first place. The Five of Cups comes in and tells me that you have a sense of loss, regret, disappointment, and despair, but you are absolutely most definitely moving on. On. You're moving away from the three spilt cups and you're going to pick up those other two cups that still remain and you're going to carry on in pursuit of your dreams with the Knight of Cups. The Emperor comes in and tells me at this point you have control, authority, establishment, and structure in your life. That you are in pursuit of the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. The Seven of Wands tells us that this is a challenge for you. It was a challenge for you because you keep thinking about the betrayal that happened in the past and the sad feelings of um, what could have been. Ace of Cups comes in and tells me that you are um, overwhelmed with emotion. You have a lot of emotion, right? But this emotion with the King of Cups is stable. It's secure, stable balanced, controlled emotion, right? So this overwhelming emotion is a good thing. It's, it's like a oh, sigh of relief, right? You got it together now and you know where you're going. Um, what you're doing is, is the Six of Pentacles, right? The Six of Pentacles is all about prosperity. You are searching for prosperity in your life, whether that be financial or personal prosperity in your life. This is going to take some strength and some courage and some trust from you to trust your journey. The star card, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. The fool, a brand new beginning and a brand new journey. The strength card says to trust your journey and have strength because what lies ahead for you is the Ten of Cups. Harmony, happiness, and values alignment in your life. Topped off by the Empress, creating abundance. 
despite the conflict, you are, despite the conflict, you are having an increased focus on your goals. The King of Swords says that you've made an absolute decision to move forward, swift change, action, movement in your life. Find to find peace, right? You're, you're, you're finally coming to a point of peace in your life with the Queen of Wands absolutely determined, the King of Wands to achieve success. The Knight of Swords, you are taking action. The Chariot, you are taking action. Two of Wands, to plan for your future. Temperance, to find your purpose. The Three of Cups, this leads you to happiness, right? Celebration, friendship, creativity, community. Queen of Pentacles, it leads you to security. And the Sun card, it brings much, much happiness into your life, my friends. If you enjoyed this reading today, feel free to drop a comment in the box below and let me know how it um, resonated with you and what's going on in your life. I read every single comment that you guys leave and I do reply to them as well. And um, share this video with whomever you think it may help, okay? Thank you so much and namaste.